Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, it is so nice to meet you. In today's video, I'm giving you guys an update, a six month update of quitting my job. About six months ago, I sat in this chair, in this room, filming in this same position, telling you guys that I quit my job to become a content creator. I'm very nervous. I filmed this video like three times already. I quit my job, I quit my job. And since then I have had several DMs on Instagram. I've had people comment on the video that I announced I was quitting my job, but I've also had content comments on other videos as well, asking me how things are going, how I'm able to do it, updates and everything like that. So I wanted to put it all in one video, not just for you guys to know, but just so that I can look back on this and see the progress and the growth that I've had since then. So that is what's happening today. If you guys are new to my channel, I would love it if you guys would subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up because that really helps. It lets YouTube know that you like this video. It will push it to more people and will help me grow in turn. So that's what we have going. So I wrote stuff down numbers wise so that I could compare the last six months. So from March to the end of August and then from September to the beginning of September 2020 to the end of February 2021. So the six months months previous to the last six months, if that makes sense. So that's what's happening today. But first I want to give you guys kind of a rundown as far as how I am doing in this um, and uh, financially how I'm doing and things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I want to say that the last six months have been probably the happiest six months of my life. I think quitting my job was the best decision I have ever made. And I've actually had a lot of support and I'm so thankful for that. I've had people on YouTube telling me that they're proud of me people in real life telling me that they're proud of me and they are excited to see what I accomplish coming up in the future. But also I have just had so many people tell me not just from my YouTube videos, but people I know in real life, people who have just watched my videos, people who know me in real life and also watch my videos. So not just people who know me in real life, not just people who watch my videos, but people in real life who watch my videos. They tell me that they have seen such a change in me that I just seem so much happier. And I do think that part of that was the fact that we were in the summertime and I do tend to have an increase in good moods over the summertime but I do think that it has been the healthiest thing for me mentally and my mental health I do not think has ever been better at least I can't remember a time when my mental health was better so don't get me wrong I still have my bad days I still have days where I doubt myself I still have days where I feel just down and anxiety really gets the best of me and depression really gets the best of me but for the most part I do feel like this change in my atmosphere and change in what I'm doing on a daily basis basis has been amazing for me, like so much so. If you're looking for a sign to quit your job and you're able to, this is it, quit your job. Um, so yeah, that is how I am doing emotionally and mentally. I feel so much better. I love that I am doing something that I love every single day. I do not experience the Sunday scaries anymore. Every Sunday I would want to throw up before I went to work because I was so just anxious about the week ahead and I don't feel that way anymore. I've done more traveling than I've done in a long time and COVID being the summer, we all know how COVID's going at the moment, um, but things have opened up a lot and I'm vaccinated and so I felt like I was able to go and do more things and so um, being able to travel even if I wasn't traveling that far was also very good for me. And just having the avail availability to do that. So for example, my birthday was in mid-August and I literally just went and hung out with my brother for a day. And if I had a job, I wouldn't have been able to do that. And then my, um, my uncle invited me to go to Galveston, Texas with him. And so I went and if I had a job, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I'd never been to Texas before. It was a really good time. I'd never been west of the Mississippi before. So it was of the Mississippi River before. So it was a good time to be able to do that um, and just being on a plane again felt so good. Um, I've been to the beach three separate times. I went with my mom and um, a couple of family members when she had spring break. She works in a school so she had spring break. I was able to go do that and then I went for a family vacation and then I also visited a friend. I also went to Charleston which was really cool um, and then I've just been able to do so many more things since I don't have a job holding me back and whenever I do go do those things I can still work because I'm vlogging and that's always a good time as well. So overall it's just been a really good experience for me. So now the things that you're really wanting to know. How can you afford this? Well, I said this in the first video that I made whenever I explained that I was quitting my job. I am so very fortunate and I am very privileged and lucky that I do have a husband who makes money. If I was single, if I was living on my own or even with a roommate, I absolutely would not be able to do this. So I do not want to give you false hope that you can just quit your job if you don't have some sort of other financial situation going on. But for me, I am very fortunate. I'm very privileged 
privileged to have a husband who is willing to support my dreams and is is able to say yes you can quit your job you can you can accomplish your goals you can work on your goals because I love you and I think that you're gonna do awesome and that feels really good. He has obviously his salaried job and then he also, so like his salaried full-time job, he also does production for a local university. Um, he also does production for other events. He does um, just all kinds of stuff. Um, so he's able to make money and he enjoys doing those things. So it's not like he's doing them because he feels like he has to. We also rent out our guest room on Airbnb, which brings in a good amount of income for us. And since I don't have a job anymore, that room is my job. So that's something that I, that's something that I've kind of taken over. I hate doing it honestly, but it, it's it's what I gotta do. Um, so I tend to do more of the cleaning and the flipping. Um, he does more of like the admin side of it, like talking to people on the app and stuff like that, but I do like taking care of the actual room. I of course am in charge of doing the house chores now, so I'm cleaning the house and I'm um, making dinner. Well, most of the time I'm still not very good at it, um, but I am at least getting the ball rolling on dinner, running errands and things like that. Um, things that he, that we would have shared the responsibility of before. It's more my job now than it would have been because I am at home and I do have the time to do it. So that's kind of how I'm able to do it. I have a financial backbone, my husband. So I know people had questions about that. Um, that's probably been the number one question I've gotten is just how I'm able to do it financially. And I'm totally fine letting you know that I am not making enough money to support myself on YouTube, but uh, we're definitely getting somewhere. So that is kind of what I wanted to share to begin with. So now what you really came here for is the numbers. So let me just pull up my handy dandy notepad. Oh, I thought it was gonna rip off. There it goes. I have my camera, I mean my computer back there with my analytics pulled up. Also, since I quit my job, I got a new camera and it's been life changing. I love this camera so much. Um, it's a Sony a6400. It's a game changer for sure. Um, so that's really fun. Also, I've had to cut back on spending unnecessarily. So you gotta make sacrifices and that's what I've done. So anyway, now let's get on to the numbers, what you really came here for. So first we're gonna talk about September 1st, 2020 to March, no, to February 28th, 2021. So that was the six months prior to quitting my job. I had a total of 55,000 views, 55,353 views. That doesn't seem like a bad amount. That's like 100,000 a year, right? But if we look at my views from March 1st to today, which I'm filming this on August 25th, so it actually just shows me up until yesterday on analytics. So February, I mean, from March 1st to August 24th, 2021, I got a total of 106,132 views. So in six months, I have doubled my view count, which is incredible. So I set a goal for myself to have 500,000 views total on my channel at the end of the year. In January and February, I really didn't think I was gonna make it, but now I'm thinking I'm gonna get there, which is really exciting. Next is watch time. So for the this six, I'm just gonna put them on the screen right here. So for this six, six months right here, we have 2.9 thousand watch hours, which is still a lot because you have to have four thousand in a year to be monetized or in like 365 days in order to qualify for monetization. So that's like more than half, that's a 75% of the way to monetization if I wasn't already monetized. But for the last six months, March to August or March to September, I have gotten six and a half thousand watch hours. So my watch hours have also more than doubled, which is also insane. Like I cannot believe that my watch time has gone up that much. Thank you so much for watching my videos. So next we're going to talk about revenue and then we'll talk about subscribers subscribers because subscribers is definitely where I have had the most growth. Um, so my estimated revenue for this time period was $245.10 and I had one sponsorship, one paid sponsorship. On this side, we have $498.28. So by the time August is actually over, it will have been over $500, which is crazy, which means that that also more than doubled, which again is insane. So basically all of my analytics thus far, views, watch time, and revenue have all doubled, which is literally insane. Like I made $34 in the month of February and I made $113 in the month of July. August isn't even over yet. And I'm already at $120 on AdSense, which again is not the hugest number in the world, but to go from $34 to $120 in six months for a whole month is crazy to me. Like that is like me living the dream. <laughs> I'm living the dream. Um, and I know that I'm going to need to make more than that for it to be like a self-sustaining full-time job. And that's always the goal is to increase the revenue. But for now, I just think that that's incredible growth. So I'll probably do an update in a year as well, just so you can see the difference. And also in this time period, I also have had two paid sponsorships. I did 
a collaboration with Gleeman, which is a face mask company. And then I also did a collaboration with a phone case company as well that was paid. And then I've also had a few unpaid sponsorships or collaborations, but they were with really well-known brands that I knew and loved before then. And now I have decided I'm not taking any unpaid sponsorships, whereas before I would have taken unpaid gifted collaborations. And now I'm not doing that unless I have no obligation to post. So if it's like PR, I will probably post about it. But from this point forward, I am not taking any unpaid sponsorships. So that is like the fact that I can be at a point where I can say I'm not taking unpaid sponsorships. That's pretty fun. So now drum roll, please, for the growth in subscribers, which is something that I literally could scream tears of joy for, for this time period, this side. I got 358 subscribers, okay? I've had more than that in August, just August. And that was for an entire six month period. So on this side, I have gotten 1.6 thousand subscribers, which means that the amount that I grew in that, like, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. If you have subscribed in the last couple of months, I've got over a thousand in the last three months, which is crazy. Like I'm absolutely blown away by the support that I have been given throughout this time. And I'm so thankful. And I just wanted to give you guys that update. Be honest with my numbers. I have uploaded three videos a week versus I started uploading in October of 2022 videos a week. So I did increase the number of videos. So it makes sense that I would have more views and watch time and revenue and things like that. But the subscriber growth is just like absolutely amazing to me to see. I'm so thankful because I never thought in a million years I would even get 5,000 subscribers. I hit 5,000 and I'm so close to hitting 6,000 at the time of filming this video and I'm just like blown away by the growth and I'm so thankful for every single person that's decided to subscribe to my channel. I just want to say thank you and give you the numbers that you're looking for. So with that being said, that is all I have for today. But if you have any questions about me quitting my job or my growth or anything like that, be sure to comment them down below or DM me on Instagram and I'll get back to you with my answers. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!